Hey guys, I know I look crazy right now, but we're gonna fix that, okay? In today's video, I'm just gonna be, you know, glowing up. It's like eight o'clock right now on a Saturday night and I'm just bored. So this is a wig, y'all. If you hear that, that's my sister. But this is a wig, I'm gonna just, well, I just braided my hair under and I just threw it on. I ain't even like wet it or nothing yet, so it's just looking crazy. And then I put a bandana because For some reason, I don't like going down my wigs. Cause I'm not an expert in that. Anyway, so the first thing I'm gonna do, get in the shower, shave my legs, take care of business. We got some S, girl, I don't know, some pain relief because it's that time of the month. So I went to Target and I got these. I got a new toothbrush because, girl, I was reading stuff about you should change your toothbrush and I haven't changed mine in a while. And I got these cute ones from Target for like 99 cents. Like, look at them. Is this does this quality look better? Because the last one was a little annoying. But yeah, we got that. Then I got some lotion. This is the lotion that I use. It's the Nivea. Nivea. Cherry Blossom. I was running out. Oh my God, this the biggest thing and this is the body wash that i use mine is almost done well i put some up anyways but yes yeah, so this from target smells so good oh my god when i tell y'all like it just smells so good after that i'm gonna do skincare and we need to take care of these brows because that is not it all right i'm gonna get in the shower and do all of that and then i'm gonna come back Okay. All right, y'all. So I am back, and I'm about to wash my face. So this is what I use to wash my face. It's the Clean and Clear Morning Burst. I know it's a day and night one, but I like the morning one. It's a little hot. Well, first I'm gonna brush my teeth because I just feel like I just wanna use this. Well, this is what I use after I wash my face. The Noxima anti-blemish pad. Okay, so I brushed my teeth and now I'm finna do my eyebrows before I wash my face because that's normally what I do. I use I use these blades to do my eyebrows. So let me go get my brush. I'm so dumb. My brush is right here, sweetie. Like. Girl. Of course, I had to cut myself. This never happens, by the way. It's just, it didn't want to work. Okay, I'm about to wash my face. So. Okay, now I'm taking my Noxima pad. In. I just put that over the cut and it really hurts. Okay. Oh my god, why does it keep bleeding? Splash. Okay, this is the cream that I use. It's from Beauty Skin Lab. It's tea tree. Tea tree plus vitamin E. Super whatever. This is still on my I don't know. But I put Vaseline in it because it can be very drying. So I put like 
that much. Y'all, I don't know what to do about this. Now I'm gonna rub it in. Put it in. Do that. What in the world? Stop bleeding. Like it's not even that bad. Cause if you were beefing at that wedding, then you should have been beefing at that wedding. Don't bring it to nobody else's club. Let's just say it. We finna do our makeup now. Alright, so now I'm finna do my makeup. This kind of stopped bleeding, but it's still there. My eyebrow routine has not changed at all. Like, y'all see me use this so many times but i use the nyx professional makeup taming frame and then i use this bare minerals brush thing and this elf eyebrow angled brush that's what you call it so i'm just gonna do my eyebrows nothing's really changed there's so many like conspiracy the theories about coronavirus and honestly i think it was it's not like i think they planned all of this to happen like my mom's been sending me videos about it and it's like crazy like i'm gonna link the video that i watched because y'all should educate yourselves it's kind of crazy so yeah you know what? i'm gonna go ask instagram for some topics to talk about because we need to talk about some stuff okay so i just posted it on instagram and i was just looking at some most people were like self-love how to be confident stuff like that so horrible at giving advice but like i feel like you just have to really learn how to love yourself like even like your flaws and everything like you're probably like how do i do that honestly you know i'm still learning to love myself and everything you should really like get to know yourself like and sometimes like every day you can learn like something about yourself like if you really want to like love yourself for real then you should just focus on yourself you know not like listen like if people like say bad things about you not to like listen to them you know what i'm saying just know that you are beautiful like every day i tell myself i'm beautiful and like when people tell me i'm beautiful i just want to say like i know but like i don't want to seem like that girl that's like you know what the thing is when people like say oh i know i'm beautiful like people take that as conceited and honestly it's just really sad because y'all be telling people to go love themselves and they be really loving themselves like they be like oh i'm so beautiful like period but y'all say they conceited like i don't like that you know i know that i'm beautiful i don't need anybody to tell me that i'm beautiful because i know that i am i mean yeah like it's nice to hear but like i know okay so when like y'all feel like you're ugly and you feel like you need somebody to tell you that you're beautiful to know that you're beautiful like you need to like work on yourself and honestly like the way society like portrays like people's bodies how they should be like how you should eat how like society tries to tell you how you should be and it's like really annoying because girl your most natural self is the most beautiful it's like the most beautiful you could be like honestly mute music makeup is to like enhance your beauty like you're literally already beautiful so what you need to do is tell yourself tell yourself every day that you're beautiful you don't need to do all that extra stuff to be pretty like trust me once you love yourself you're you're gonna feel like amazing and i don't want it to seem like like i'm an expert because honestly i feel like i'm still learning like 
about myself and loving like all my flaws and stuff one thing i would say is just to get to know yourself better just don't listen to people that try to like bully you or say that you're ugly because it just means they have a problem with themselves and they just wanna want you to feel bad because they feel bad when people like do stuff like that maybe ask them if they're okay because 100% of the time they're not okay you never know what anybody's going through okay so somebody wanted me to talk about bad baby's tan sweetheart <laughs> i don't like to hate on people but what are you doing whoever did her makeup really tried it like sweetheart what is that why are you doing that girl do you we're not gonna speak on that somebody else said i should talk about my relationship with Davion. um girl i'm happy you know like it's like crazy because like like honestly like truly like honestly it feels like like it feels real you know what i'm saying it doesn't feel like those like relationships where like like you play around like i don't know how to explain it it just feels like really real and it's kind of scary because like the feelings and the whatever is getting really deep i swear that's like one of my favorite people you know he makes the girl feel great stop and trying to make me blush and shit thinking about this boy <laughs> But yeah, it's a lot of love there. I don't know what else to talk about with me and him. Y'all, he's starting a YouTube and I'm gonna link his channel down below. And I'm gonna need y'all to go follow him. I don't know when he posted his. We're gonna talk about the rappers in my county. Okay, some of them are good, you know. But like, some of them are just like, trying too hard i don't want to like put anybody down but like are you sure that's what you want to do are you sure that's what you want to do like who fakes going to jail just to make a first day out song i don't want to talk about it next topic because i can't or i'm gonna get but no let's talk about like the really good ones like i don't know if y'all know who dmars i don't know i'll put his at he is like my favorite when it comes to like young boys really trying to rap because he's really good. Everything about him is so genuine. It's not like he would do something for followers or anything like that. Like he's good and I'm gonna let y'all listen to his song. Well, I'm gonna just link his stuff down below. So the next topic is becoming an adult. As y'all know, I'm 18 and after high school things are gonna get really real honestly like i think about it all the time and it's really scary but you know i guess i'm ready my plan is to go to cosmetology school and get my license and then start working i don't know what's gonna happen but i've been praying about it a lot like i just want to be successful Honestly, I just want to do anything in beauty. Like, I'm going to still do YouTube videos. But I love, like, hair, makeup, eyebrows, eyelashes. Like, I just love, like, all that type of stuff. And I just want to do that for people. I think me, like, I'm really scared to, like, fail. And I always tell people, like, failing is, like, the first attempt in learning. Like, you're going to fail in life to get to where you want to be. And you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to do... You gotta sacrifice some things and it's just like scary. And I always tell people that and it's like, girl, take your own advice. I'm honestly terrified. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I'm not gonna sit up here and be like, oh my God, I'm so ready, like period, period. No, I'm scared. Like, I wanna make my family proud. I wanna make myself proud. I wanna make my friends proud. Like I just wanna make people that I love proud. I'm putting my eyelashes on by the way. I like how this video just turned into like me ranting. I just feel like I just needed to talk to y'all some more. I'm gonna let this dry.
but I'm about to look at the next topic. Okay, somebody told me to talk about dating young. So me, I used to girl. I swear I was boy crazy. I don't know, but honestly, dating young, you're going to do crazy things. Like, let me put this lash on and I'm gonna tell y'all, okay? Okay, so like I was saying, like, I was like reckless. And honestly, teenagers, like when you're like 16 or whatever, you just want to do your own thing. You don't want nobody telling you what to do, like give you advice. You just want to do your own thing. So I went and did my own thing and it's just not worth it, okay? I lost my virginity at 16 and like I just regret it because it was just like, I just don't want to talk about it, okay? So honestly, when you're dating somebody and you're that young, don't like feel like you need to like give that to them. You know what I'm saying? Like you're literally young. You don't know what you're doing. You could get pregnant. Like, no, I don't advise that for young couples. Hold on, let me put this on. I literally forgot to show y'all when I did my hair, but I just sprayed some water in it and I put it this leave-in conditioner and uh, this is what it looks like do you hear my stomach but i'm basically done it's still some more topics to talk about so i might still talk about it 